half a day floss tube. This is Lynette at Homesteading on the home front. It has been um, less than 24 hours since I uploaded my last video and um, I'm at a thousand subscribers. So as promised, here is um, more information on what I decided to do for my giveaway to celebrate. Um, it all started with the um, Farmhouse Christmas series. We've seen it, we loved it, we're stitching it. Um, and I don't, I don't know that I've seen it on Facebook, but if you follow Little House Needleworks on Instagram, you probably have seen the picture that they posted of the whole design stitched as one. It's a large piece and most of the squares are blurred out but the very center square, which um, I believe they're calling Grandma's Quilt, is shown very clearly. Um, I don't know a ton about quilting, but I think that the design is an Ohio star. <clears throat> so I saw that and I loved it, but my, my wheels started turning. Um, and the reason for that is when we lived in Virginia, we had chickens. Um, we loved them. They were, they were such a joy and I cannot wait to get chickens again. My husband made a chicken tractor so that we could um, have them in a, our backyard. And the first thing that I did when the chicken tractor was done was um, I painted a barn quilt on it um, because I like barn quilts, I always have. So I wanted one for the, the chicken tractor. Um, and it only made sense to me that if I was putting a barn quilt on a chicken tractor, then the quilt pattern that I wanted to use is called hens and chicks. <clears throat> so, um, beautiful quilt, quilt block on the chicken coop and it was, it was lovely. Um, it was not an eyesore by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and so because of that, I saw in the quilt square that goes in the middle of the, the um, Farmhouse Christmas series. And I really wanted to make it a hens and chicks just because I like to personalize things. So I took my um, ancient software and played around and came up with a hens and chicks design that I really liked. And so I printed it out <clears throat> and started stitching. And then I got to thinking about other quilt patterns that I could do. And I know that um, Vanna has mentioned that her intention is to have a separate tree with the Farmhouse Christmas series, and then she's also doing the um, Prairie School or Barnyard Animals. And I know several others are also stitching those up. Um, Night Owl Stitcher, um, and I'm doing the same thing. So what I decided was maybe I could chart my own quilt series to match and that way I would have the um, the little house farmhouse series I will finish those as pillows maybe not exactly like Vanna did but something like that and then the prairie schoolers I'll finish as circles and then the quilt squares that I decided to design I would finish as regular flat ornaments and so it would be a nice um, change on the Christmas tree but yet they would all be stitched in the same colors and they would still coordinate. So then I decided that I'm not the only one who's doing this so maybe some of the other floss tubers out there would really enjoy stitching up quilts. I know certainly that there's a lot of you out there who are into sewing quilts and admiring quilts. So I set to work with my software. Um, I will again mention that it's ancient. And it took me a while, but I was able to figure out how to um, print screen and then paste the image into Word and then save that as a JPEG and then crop out everything else and then upload that into a Google Docs um, document. So, for my thousand subscriber giveaway, I am going to link below to several of the quilt squares that I've designed. Um, I don't have them all stitched up, 
and I don't have them all in the document below. I think there's there's gonna be four this time around. And then when I get to tweaking them and um, and uploading them, I will I will do at least another round of four. So um, let me show you what the ones look like that I have stitched so that you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. This is the hens and quilt. Um, I'm sorry, hens and chicks. If you are familiar with quilting, you, you recognize this design. So you will also recognize that it's done in the same colors as the farmhouse Christmas. Um, the pattern that is shown on Instagram has like a vine border around it, and then it has the white, um, almost checkerboard ornament that all of the designs have. So my intention is to add that vine border around when Grandma's quilt is released, um, and so it will coordinate nicely. So this is a, the pattern that started it all, hens and chicks, and um, in my design, I named this pattern Chelsea's Quilt because I wanted this series to really reflect the floss tube community. And um, when somebody says chickens and floss tube, your first thought is automatically Chelsea. So this is Chelsea's Quilt. The next one I designed is actually um, a takeoff of the Missouri Star Quilt pattern. And I wanted to do this one because I don't think there's anyone on Floss Tube who sews who hasn't benefited from Jenny's Floss Tube tutorials. Um, Jenny is from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. And so I, I am one of them. She has taught me so much in my sewing journey. So I wanted to kind of make a tribute to Jenny even though she isn't um, a Floss Tuber. She has certainly um, aided a lot of us in the floss tube community. So this is the Missouri star pattern that I came up with. Again, same colors. Um, and I intend to stitch the border around. And I think this one came out great. I really, I like this one a lot. So there are um, two other quilt patterns in the download that I haven't had a chance to stitch yet because I didn't think it would, I didn't think that we would be at a thousand subscribers this quickly. So you guys kind of, kind of jumped ahead of me. <laughs> so I haven't stitched them up, but um, I'm giving you the designs. The first one is called Kelly's Quilt and I don't have any idea what the name of this quilt block is. But in Joan and Kelly's last video, um, there's a quilt block in back. And I looked at that and I was like, that, I could do that in cross stitch, I could make that. And so I designed it up and put it into the, the um, program and um, it, it's there for you. Kelly, if, if you know the name of that quilt pattern, um, please let me know so that I can add it in. Um, but that's my tribute to, um, to you. And then the final quilt block that appears, I am calling Donna Ray's quilt. Um, it is the honeybee quilt pattern. And so, um, if, if you're into quilting, you'll know the honeybee pattern. Um, Donna Ray and I um, started our beekeeping journey together um, several years ago. I think it was probably ooh, 2012, maybe, spring of 2012. Um, and we had many adventures in beekeeping. Um, we attended the Eastern Apiculture Society um, convention in Delaware together we just we have we've made a lot of memories but many of them center around our love of bees and so it only made sense for me to name this one Donna Ray's quilt um, because she is now a floss tuber so Donna Ray this one's for you I hope you enjoy it and stitch it up um, I do want to say that if you are not at all interested in the farmhouse Christmas series um 
you can still use these patterns. They are great for ornaments or smalls. Um, you can change the colors. So if those of you who are doing Halloween trees, use some purple and orange and greens and browns and they'll look fantastic on a Halloween tree. Um, or if you just want Christmas ornaments, use Christmas colors and make them into ornaments. Um, and that way you too can have a little reminder every year of, you know, when you hang Kelly's ornament on the tree, you can say, this is Kelly's quilt square. Um, so I really wanted this to be a celebration of the floss tube community. Um, I wanted it to be something that hopefully a lot of people will enjoy and take advantage of. Um, I did not give you a color code uh, because I want you to choose your own colors. I will say that those of you who are stitching the Farmhouse Christmas series will recognize all of the symbols. Um, so not a problem there. Um, so I, that's it. I, I, I'm going to link below the Google document so that you can print, print out. Um, I will tell you right away that if you have problems accessing the Google documents, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> little one could probably figure it out but I um technology isn't my strong suit so I'm hoping that everyone can click on the link and print it out I'm assuming you need a google um account but I think you need that for youtube anyway I I don't know anyway I hope it works for all of you um and if you do decide to download and stitch these um please subscribe um, this is something that I wanted to do for my subscribers to show my appreciation. Um, keep your eyes out because like I said, I'll have more quilt designs out probably in another video. Um, I don't know when, but being that the Farmhouse series goes until September, I figure I have a little time to, to work with. So, <clears throat> enjoy, stitch away. Um, I hope that you will show us in your videos if you decide to, to make these. Um, if somebody asks where you get the pattern, please direct them to this video and, and tell them that this is where they can find it and um, this is the story behind the, the designs. So happy stitching. Until we meet again, I wish you fair winds and following seas.